it's Manik and today I'm going to uh, give you a lecture and uh, it is my second actually uh, previously uh, I have uh, given a video on uh, Iliad and especially book one and this is my second one and it is about uh, the second topic and uh, this is the uh, in the series of uh, work in the European classical literature and today's topic in such a manner is that of uh, uh, Oedipus Rex or you can say Oedipus the King and uh, it is written by uh, Sophocles. So in that topic it will be a uh, very uh, actually loud not very loud. In that video I will uh, going to give you all the valuable information which you should uh, uh, know to learn to go through this topic. First of all I will uh, give you a brief idea about the uh, ancient uh, Greek theatre or you can say the theatre at the time of ancient Greece and then I will discuss about Homer and the topic okay and the related information so first of all let's uh, go to the let's jump to that particular point that is talking about the theatre of ancient Greece the ancient Greece is a very a famous place where we have uh, found that most of the uh, important genres in our literature like that of epic like that of uh, a tragedy that of comedy all types of like drama they just evolved from that particular place and here and the drama comes often okay and came at that particular time during the 700 bc okay you know bc uh, before christ so at that particular point there was a kind of a, a theatrical uh, tradition and it's a kind of cultural religious and from that place the beginning of drama has been traced and then thereafter the city the particular city named Athens which was its center epic center you can say where its political military and social all kind of activism and all kind of activities like that of uh, uh, dramatic activities has been performed there and if we uh, go a little farther later in the period 500 around 500 BC at that particular point the very term tragedy came up to us and up to that little later a kind of another kind of play you have already uh, you have already uh, in your mind that is comedy and it is a uh, look that it's around 490 BC it has been come uh, up to us and then there is a uh, there is another kind of play and its name is satire play s-a-t-y-r play so satire play is you know it's a kind of comic and burlesque representation so this this is how the uh, drama evolved at that point okay and if we call the father of tragedy uh, then we have to go back at that particular period when in 500 bc uh, there was a particular actor named thepsit yeah that is thespis okay he was a prominent actor and simultaneously he was a compiler too compiled many uh, plays and he also stays there in that period and that's why uh, with his name uh, he is often being called that he's the father of tragedy and if we uh, go further a little uh, more and then we have uh, come across to that period that is called the uh, classical period of European literature and in that period we can now trace back to that continuation of the age uh, from 16 600 BCE to 600 CE okay in that period the uh, performance the writing and the uh, audiences uh, interest was so much that that period is called that uh, it's the golden age of uh, uh, literature and especially golden age for drama and in that place the center point is that of course Athens and all these plays were in the form of a honorary things and these plays were used to honor the god Dionysius and the particular temple was named Dionysia okay and at the time and it is around 500 or you could say uh, 460 AD there was a kind of battle okay and the battle was going on between our uh, three prominent writers and the name of them and names of them actually are uh, Euripides, Ascylus, and Sophocles 
all of them were uh, combating with each other. And you know, dynasties or uh, the uh, god, and there was a kind of festival, and in that festival, they were combating each other. And in that competition, there were three plays and one satire place. So, judging from uh, this success, their success also called up. And the first uh, battle was all about uh, Apurren in 68, 68 BC. And in that battle, Sophocles owned it. And you will uh, uh, um, be in, uh, very happy to know that our best, our today's writer, that is Sophocles, uh, own around 24 battle in it. And in his lifetime, Sophocles wrote about 123 plays in total. And he won 24 times in that competition. And if you uh, like to talk about the contemporary, other contemporaries, uh, Sophocles uh, won 24 and uh, that Euripides won only 4. And Aeschylus and that guy won about uh, 13 times. So this is how the success was going on. Okay, so let's talk about, let's go to the uh, point. Now, uh, we will uh, learn about Sophocles. Who is uh, Sophocles actually? Uh, what? Uh, for almost uh, 50 years, Sophocles was the most celebrated playwright in the dramatic competition of the city-state of Athens. And that took place during the religious festivals of the god Dionysius, which I have already talked. I have already uh, talked. Sophocles was born uh, circa 496. I have already uh, discussed what is circa. Circa that's been in uh, its uh, assumption date. Okay, that's why C. Okay, and near Athens, the places, and he died uh, uh, 406 uh, BCE. And in that particular place in Athens, and uh, and he was uh, with Aeschylus and Euripides, is called one of the classical Athens's three great tragic playwrights among them. Okay, Sophocles was the younger contemporary of Aeschylus and the older contemporary of Euripides. And if we talk about his uh, notable works, uh, he wrote uh, like the works like that of Trackers, and he wrote uh, Philoctetes, uh, Trachinian Omen. Electra, and then he also wrote Ajax, Antigone, Oedipus at Colonus, and the present play Oedipus Rex or Oedipus the King. But the latter, the last uh, three plays that have been Antigone, Oedipus at Colonus, Oedipus Rex, these are like that of a, a similar kind of story. Okay, uh, not in similar in the plot structure, but the uh, actual incidents have such have, have, have some kind of a relations within it. Now let's talk about some. Uh, theatrical invention which has been done by our writer Sophocles. Sophocles was the first writer who invents that scene painting. You know scene painting? Uh, whenever we uh, uh, went to do, to, when to, when to observe or uh, when to uh, see a uh, drama in stage and uh, in that particular period the stage has been decorated in such a way that it looks like that it is a kitchen or it may be a, some kind of a forest. So the scenery, okay, uh, for the first time, Sophocles used that background image, that is scenery. So that's why there's a kind of a path-breaking uh, work by him. And then another important achievement by him was that before him, there was a play. And in that play, there were two major actors who were performing the plays, the uh, total uh, drama but for the first time Sophocles used third actor and another thing like that of uh, uh, using of a chorus before him the chorus was of a uh, long, uh, lot of uh, people uh, talking about the incidents but he used a major character among them and uh, gave him uh, and gave him the uh, strongest point to be put forward